Good morning, children. Happy Monday and happy 1st of February as well. So welcome to your reading session this morning. So the date is Monday, the 1st of February 2021. And your learning objective today is to understand the feelings of characters in a text. OK, so hopefully you'll remember from last week, our new text is called The Iron Man and it's by Ted Hughes. So we're going to be reading the next section. And as we normally do on a Monday, I'd just like you to draw this just on your books or on a scrap piece of paper. If you come across any new words while we're reading it, I'd like you to think about what you think it means. And then you can just Google, or if you've got a dictionary, find out the actual meaning, okay? Just so you're expanding your vocabulary. So let's read the next part of the text. From farm to farm, over the soft soil of the fields, went giant footprints, each one the size of a single bed. The farmers, in a frightened, silent, amazed crowd, followed the footprints. And at every farm the footprints visited, all the metal machinery had disappeared. Finally, the footprints led up to the top of the cliff where the little boy had seen the Iron Man appear the night before when he was fishing. The footprints led right to the cliff top and all the way down the cliff were torn marks on the rock where a huge iron body had slid down. Below, the tide was in, the grey, empty, moving tide. The Iron Man had gone back into the sea. So the furious farmers began to shout. The Iron Man had stolen all their machinery. Had he eaten it? Anyway, he had taken it, it had gone. So what if he came again? What would he take next time? Cows, houses, people? They would have to do something. They couldn't call in the police or the army because nobody would believe them about this iron monster. They would have to do something for themselves. So what did they do? At the bottom of the hill, below where the Iron Man had come over the high cliff, they dug a deep, enormous hole, a hole wider than a house and as deep as three trees, one on top of the other. It was a colossal hole, a stupendous hole, and the sides of it were as sheer as walls. They pushed all the earth off to one side. They covered the hole with branches and the branches they covered with straw and the straw with soil. So when they finished, the hole looked like a freshly ploughed field. Now, on the side of the hole, opposite the slope up to the top of the cliff, they put an old rusty lorry. That was the bait. Now they reckon the Iron Man would come over the top of the cliff out of the sea and he'd see the old lorry, which was painted red, and he'd come down to get it, to chew it up and eat it. But on his way to the lorry, he'd be crossing the hole. And the moment he stepped with his great weight onto that so soil held up, only with straw and branches, he would crash through into the hole and would never get out. They'd find him there in the hole. Then they'd bring the few bulldozers and earth movers that he hadn't already eaten and they'd push the pile of earth in on top of him and bury him forever in the hole. They were certain now they'd get him. Okay, so... If there were any words that you didn't know, just take about five, 10 minutes to fill this out. If you know all of the words, that's absolutely fine. Okay. So today your task is to understand the feelings of the characters, okay? So I'm just gonna read through the sheet and this is the sheet that is on the assignments, okay? So wait until I've finished explaining it if you're doing it on Teams. And if you don't have access to Teams, then just let me explain this and then you can copy out the tables in a moment, OK? So in our reading session today, we read about the farmers and how they reacted to the Iron Man's actions. For your learning, we would like you to show your understanding of the text by considering how the farmers would be feeling and what they would be thinking or saying based on what is written in the text. Please read both extracts and then fill out the table below. So if you want to do one chilli, we would like to see at least one bullet point in each box. For two chilies, at least two bullet points in each box. And three chili, at least three bullet points in each box. 
and use inverted commas for speech in the saying section, okay? Now, I'm sorry about the typo there. That is obviously meant to be by. Okay. So, the first extract is this part of the story, okay? The, fine man, the Iron Man had gone back into the sea, so the furious farmers began to shout. The Iron Man had come and stolen all their machinery. Had he eaten it? Anyway, he had taken it. It had gone. So what if he came again? What would he take next time? Cows, houses, people? They would have to do something. They couldn't call in the police or the army because nobody would believe them about this iron monster. OK, so you've got to consider how the farmers were feeling, what they were thinking and what they might be saying, OK? Now, the best thing to do to answer this is put yourself in their shoes. Imagine you are a farmer, OK? You've spent all your money on these tractors and tools. That's how you make your money. That's how you feed your family. And one night, this huge iron monster has just come and eaten it or taken it. You're not quite sure. OK, how would you be feeling and think they're already questioning what, what was he going to take next time? Would it then be their cows, their houses or even them? OK, what would they be thinking? And then what would they be saying to each other or to their families? OK, so feeling that's the emotions. OK, so happy. I don't think they'd be happy. Sad, scared, shocked, joyful. Which one do you think they would be feeling here? Thinking those are those questions. What was he? Where would he come from? OK, and remember, you're using the text as well as your own ideas. OK, and then saying now there's no speech, no direct speech at all in this. But you've got to use your imaginations and your understanding of the text. What would they be saying either to the other farmers or to their families, okay? And then the second extract is when they have finished digging their hole, okay? So they've set up their plan. They've spent a long time and a lot of effort digging this hole. They've got their trap set up. How would they be feeling, thinking and saying, okay? And I'd like you to spend about half an hour on this, okay? Because, you know, our reading sessions are 45 minutes. So if you're doing it on the team's assignment, you can stop the video now, okay, and go and do that and pick your chili challenge. If you don't have access to teams, that's fine. Just draw out just a really simple feeling, thinking and saying grid. Don't worry about writing this out, okay? And just answer that for extract one and extract two. Okay, good luck with that children. And it will be Miss Fernandez feeding back today because I'm in school. So I'm sure she can't wait to see your, your learning for this lesson. Okay, I'll see you in maths. Bye.